Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're back in my hometown. We're in the shop in Buda Springs, Kansas, and this is where I do a tremendous amount of testing, and I test everything. I test machines, I test TIG torches, tungsten, anything to do with TIG welding. And so today, I've got a couple of products that I'm testing, and uh, you're going to see it live. And uh, it, you know what? It either works good or it doesn't. And uh, so I'm going to share it with you. But first of all, I got to tell you about my history in TIG and what I like and what I dislike about TIG machines and the accessories. One is a foot control. Now, we did a special on foot controls and having a nice, even, uh, smooth flow, smooth pressure all the way. But you're going to get into jobs that you just can't use a foot control. So how often is that? You know, that's maybe 5, 10 as much as 20% of the time. But you may be that person that's doing that job. So try to find something that doesn't have a hand control. And I've had people bring widgets to me. I've, I've had uh, people that have made helmets that had rheostats built in to the helmet. And when you'd open your mouth, you would increase amperage and close your mouth, you'd lower your amperage. Well, pretty cool concept. And one guy, he gave me this, uh, it looked like a knee brace. It had a steel piece in it, just like a, a, an injury you'd get in basketball, and it had a rheostat in it, and every time you'd bend your knee, you could increase or decrease amperage. Still a good thought. Now, it never got followed through, but there's, there's a lot of widgets out there, and most of them are not very good. So something to keep in mind, when you're holding a TIG torch, the voltage is between your tungsten and the part you're about to weld. So if you've got all kinds of activity, and it's rough activity with your hand where you're holding your torch, then what's going to happen is you're going to dip into the puddle or you're not going to have good control. Now this is what it typically looks like and this is one of the better ones. Uh, I typically don't like these at all but if I have to use them this is the one that I like. Okay so it's got a rotary to it so I've got two fingers that are adjusting it but even when I do that and I'm over amplifying it but when I do that look at the motion that I have with my torch. It's just really hard to do fine welding with these things and you see all kinds of little techniques. We've got one that's got a little roller on it, whatever your preference is. Uh, I've got another one that's got a slide on it where it slides up and back. You know, well this is this is good for pipeline welding and certain types of welding, but it's not good for real fine manipulate around tubes. So this is my favorite right now. And it's a they call it a racetrack. And it's it's made by CK Worldwide and you can see that you can you can adjust and rotate, but it still has a little bit of a lunge to it. So I was asked to test the latest and greatest model, and so I just, I just took it up, and we're about to test it. And this is, this is called a pistol grip. Now, it, it looks kind of bizarre, but it, uh, it also has kind of a, a, a James Bond appearance to it. Take a look at this. So you, you grip this thing. See, you're not holding it conventional. You're using uh, the entire part of your hand. Now, there's a little place that you can slide this using your index. And all I'm doing is I'm looking at the tip of my tungsten. And as I slide forward and back, the motion on here is really smooth. Now, the only thing that I see any kind of a motion that's going to cause me any kind of a problem is at the beginning and end. There's a little indent in there, and you can feel the pressure when you're going to turn the arc on. So it's like release. I can feel it. Didn't move bad, and I can increase or de decrease amperage. So what I want to do is I really want to test this. I set this with a torch that's a flex head torch, and i got to tell you, I think the best way to use this is with a flex head because if you get a fixed angle now you're trying to manipulate in areas that aren't so comfortable but this thing I can maneuver it left right I can get the angle exactly the way that I want so I've got some 16 gauge stainless steel what better way of, of testing this than to do a little lap well it doesn't fit up so terribly good but I'm going to find out whether or not I can control this, hold it, control it, and not have dipping or contaminate the tungsten. So uh, let me get my gear on, and then uh, we'll do a couple of wells here and see how it works. Okay, now I've, I've flexed this, and i put it in a position that I think is comfortable for me. I'm going to uh, add filler. This is a 045 uh, 312 stainless filler. 
and I'm just adding it to a, a 304 stainless. So I got 1 16th tungsten, I'm welding on DC, and this is my trigger. And you can hear everything activate as soon as I pull the trigger. Now I've got the machine set at a maximum of 62 amps, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate the arc and increase until I see a puddle. Okay, well you can see that uh, the pistol grip, my index finger, is probably an inch and a half away, maybe even two inches away from the, the weld. I feel no heat whatsoever. So uh, again, very, very smooth, easy to use, um, and you can, do, you can do fine welding with it. Okay, so when I got to the end of the weld, I needed to be able to taper out very, very slowly at my rate, and I was able to do that. When I got to the very end of this run right here, the very end of this slide, a little bit of a thrust, but it really wasn't bad. So I'm going to do another run. I'm going to do a little faster this time, except this time I'm just going to go beat on plate so you can really get a good feel for how quick this is. Just the same dabbing technique, just uh, created a puddle, and this thing is it's running smooth. Now I'm going to go ahead and taper off. Anyway, uh, got to the end of the weld, I had a little extra filler, and I backed off of this thumb or finger control. Uh, it worked out real fine. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, this has such a good smooth action. Um, it, it, it doesn't look like it'd be that comfortable, that easy to use, but it, it really is. So, you know, my hat's off to the guys here in, uh, at CK. Okay, this, this pistol grip uh, that's been designed for this specific machine, uh, it works pretty good, guys. And uh, I'm going to let you know as soon as I can price and availability. So, uh, Stay tuned to well.com and uh, you'll get all that information. So thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.